Okay, the next question is from Vince Kong, who's one of yours and Buckethead's biggest fans. Hey, Vince here. How's it going, Brain? Huge fan of yours and Buckethead's. I got some questions for you. First question, what are three things you can share about Buckethead that many of his fans aren't aware of? <laughs> um, well, um, you know, the things that come to mind that I just know, because I ha hang around him a lot, is Bucket is a really, really down-to-earth you know, as crazy as the stuff he does, down to earth. You know what I mean? He really likes to help people. He really wants the best for the players in his band, who he works with. I think that's what why Guns kind of took him out because Guns is more about, you know, everybody's out for their own and everybody's trying to get ahead in their own way. Not saying that that's bad. You know, I mean, I get it. Survival of the fittest. Do what you got to do when you're in a bigger thing and doing whatever. But most people always ask me, like, oh, is he just crazy? Is he just got... Uh, and I'm just like, no, he's actually a really down-to-earth good guy, you know? If that's one thing that I could say, he really does care. He's always looking out for you. He's making sure you're if you're okay, you know, is this okay for you? You know, hey, I want to make it the best for you. I think that's why... He has a lot of trouble working with other people because it puts a lot of pressure on him because he wants to make sure everybody's okay. And I think when you start running a business, right, the boss is always kind of the dick. He can't be making sure everyone's okay. He's got to run a business and he can't look out for everyone and, you know, and do all that kind of stuff. It takes too much pressure. You know, that's one thing I think people don't know. One thing that, you know, and I hope he doesn't get mad if he listens to this or whatever i don't think i'm divulging anything that he's would be bummed about because i think that's a good thing for him you know he really really is a good guy like he really does care and really wants everybody around him to feel happy and feel good about what they're doing where most people would just think he's you know believe me i'm not going to say him but i've worked with artists that are complete asshole ego um, megalomaniac, egotistical, narcissist. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. And then another one is he's a Diet Coke fiend. You know, that's our bonding. We go to, we'll drive hundreds of miles to get the right Diet Coke. And I'm not, I'm not like, maybe not hundreds, but we've driven 50 miles to get the right Diet Coke because of the right, the way that the carbonation in Coke is. There's like ones he finds. And so we'll have to like, we'll be in LA and we actually have to drive to like Tijon Ranch just to get a certain Diet Coke from a Jack in the Box in that area. Oh my God. I didn't even know there was different Diet Cokes. <laughs> I just thought they were all the same. Well, it's the carbonation. They're always the same if you buy the can, but I'm talking from tap. It's the way they carbonate it. He got me addicted to Diet Coke. So, you know, I was never into it either. He kept drinking it and then I got it. And then I started getting addicted to it. And I was like, oh boy. But I don't know. See, that's two of them. The third, well, maybe it'll come up. Something will come up. There's the third thing. He always loves to do things for no money for people and kids and, and, and whatever it may be. It's like, oh, I'm going to get these group of kids in for free to the show because they couldn't afford it or, you know, I'll help these. He's always doing, you know, doing that. Yeah, because he's been doing that a lot lately, like giving his albums away for free and there's this artist who he's always plugging. And... Yep, that's exactly what he's been doing. He's been like that way before what he's uh, showing now. 